Hello students, welcome back to the biology class of 6. In the previous lecture video, we discussed how plants are the source of food for us. Dear students, plants not only provide food to us but also to other animals, isn't it? Now, today we are going to discuss how animals are the source of food for we human beings and other animals. Now, dear students, be very attentive while watching the video. So, let's get started. Open the page 6 and come to the topic animal products as food. Now, children, listen carefully. An important animal product which is used as food is milk. And the animals like cow and buffalo give us milk. Okay, this we all know. Now, goat and camel are the two other animals which also give us milk. In places like Rajasthan, we find camel and goat, isn't it? And there, people drink the milk of camel and goat also. Okay, children. Now, from milk, we can make many useful products. These products are called milk products. Milk products means the things which are made out of milk are called milk products such as curd, butter, ghee and cheese. Okay children. Now the other animal products which are used as food are eggs, chicken, mutton and fish. Then fish. They also gives us cod liver oil which is rich in vitamin A. So this cod liver oil is obtained from a kind of fish called Caught. Now come to the next paragraph. Yet another animal product which is used as food is honey. Honey is a food material which is produced by insects. Which insects? Bees. And these bees are also called honey bees. Now how do the honey bees make honey? Actually honey bees collect nectar that is a sugary liquid from the flowers of plants and convert it into honey. And it is stored in the structures called hives. So, the hives containing honey are called honeycombs. Honey is collected from such honeycombs. So, children, what are the animal products which we eat as food? These are milk, uh, then uh, uh, eggs, chicken, mutton, fish, cod liver oil and honey. Okay. Now, children, one interesting thing you should know that even the animal food comes from the plant. How the animal food comes from the plant? Huh. Let me tell you through some examples. Uh, for example, the milk comes from cows or buffaloes. And what do they eat? They eat grass or grains as food. Similarly, eggs come from hens. And what do they eat? They eat grains as food. And meat comes from goat, which eats what? Which eats grass or grains as food. Okay, so we so it is rightly said that we that we obtain uh, food mainly from plants, either directly or indirectly. Okay, yes. Now come to the next. What do animals eat? Children, we eat plant foods like. Cereal, cereal grains, pulses, vegetables and fruits. Now children tell me what are cereal grains? The, uh, the seeds of wheat, maize, rice are called cereal grains. And what are pulses? Seeds such as peas, beans, grams, they come under the group called pulses. Okay, this you should know. And we also eat animal food like milk, eggs, chicken, mutton and fish etc. But what about animals? What do they eat? Animals eat only a few types of food. Okay. Some animals eat plant materials as food. And so what are the names some animals which eat plant materials as food? Animals like cow and goat. Okay. Then some and some uh, uh, eat the flesh of other animals like 
lion, tiger. Whereas some animals eat both plant food as well as flesh of other animals like dog and cat. Okay. So in the next page we are going to discuss about the types of animals based on their now open the page 7. Here we are going to discuss about the types of animals which are divided on the basis of their food habit. Okay. But before that look into the list given on the top of this page. Here we find list of some animals along with their food. Alright. So I am reading some of them. Number 1. And this here it is written cow and buffalo eat grass, hay, oil cake and grains. So children what are hay? what is hay? Hay you know hay is a dried grass. Okay. And what is oil cake? Oil cake is the uh, the solids of plant parts. Okay. It is the solids of the plant parts which is obtained after extracting oil from them. Alright. For example, I, uh, it will be clear by this example. Huh? You will come to know what is uh, oil cake. Okay. Suppose uh, we take out coconut oil from the coconut fruit. Okay. Once the coconut oil is taken out from the coconut, then that solid part left out after removing the oil is called oil cake. Okay. I think you have understood. Yes. Now we learn what are food producers and consumers. Okay. The green plants make their own food by the process of photosynthesis, isn't it? So, since plants can make or produce their own food, they are called food producers. Okay? Alright. And all the green plants are called food producers. Okay? Now, on the other hand, animals are unable to make their own food by the process of photosynthesis like the plants, isn't it? So, and what do they do? They depend on plants for food. They may depend on animals also. Isn't it? They depend both on plants or other animals for food. Since animals only consume. consume here consume means eat. Okay. So since animals only consume or eat food, by, food made by others, they are called food consumers or just consumers. Okay. So, all the animals, huh? even we human beings are called food consumers. Okay? Yes. Now, we are going to uh, discuss our last topic that is types of animals based on their food habit. Okay? So, the, uh, all the animals can be divided into three, go three groups. Huh? Uh, these are herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. Now, open the page 8. Here, we will now discuss herbivores, carnivores and omnivores in detail. Let us start with herbivores. Now, children, we all know that uh, animals like goat, cow, buffalo, rabbit, monkey, what do they eat? They eat plant or plant products hmm, like grass, leaves, grains, fruits or the bark of trees. Therefore, those animals which eat only plants or plant products are called herbivores. Herbivores are also called herbivorous animals. Okay, now come to the next carnivores. Here also we know that animals like lion, tiger, lizard, snake, uh, these and the uh, uh, Insect like dragonfly, hmm, they eat the flesh of other animals. Okay, since they eat the flesh of other animals, they are called flesh eaters. Therefore, those animals which eat only other animals as food are called carnivores. Carnivores are also called carnivorous animals. Now come to the next group, omnivores. There are some animals which eat both plants as well as other animals as food. For example, uh, dog, cat, sparrow, bee, bear, ant, etc. Okay. So, these animals, they, they obtain 
they depend on uh, for food um, uh, on plants as well as other animals therefore these animals are called omnivores okay so those animals which eat both plants and animals are called omnivores understand and man is also included in this group man is also an omnivore isn't it because many people they eat flesh of other animals they eat mutton chicken isn't it now look into the figure 11 <clears throat> what do we see here we see here uh, the relationship between the differences between uh, herbivore carnivore and omnivore here we see goat it uh, eats plants huh? the arrows you just pay attention on the arrows huh? here what do you find we find goat eat plants and uh, lion car is an which is an example of carnivore it eats and other animals so it may eat goat also on the other hand we see man it eats both plants as well as animals therefore man is a omnivore lion is a carnivore and goat is a herbivore okay so here we conclude the chapter hope children you have enjoyed this lesson now you will go through this chapter thoroughly and learn very well okay and we will be providing you the solved question answers of this chapter so that also you go through and learn very well till then stay safe stay healthy thank you children